Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so in the last video, I showed a, what I would consider a, a perfect ladder, great ladder for me. Um, so I rinsed out my brush really good, dried it off, slung the water out, dried the puck off, very, very, very little moisture. And this is what we have so far. I've been loading it for a minute or so. Which, just going with that, that's a decently loaded brush. Bristles kind of clumped together. Very thick, pasty. Sorry. So, let's simulate a face lather on my hand. I'll get my hand just a little bit wet. Sling it off some. So, some of you guys that are just starting out, you might get to... A point pretty close to this brush kind of looks like that still really dry your face may look similar to that not a whole lot of peaks very little I'll add a little more water so you, you keep adding just a few drops of water and you keep laddering so I hope everybody's uh, doing well have good weather it's not too bad here today in Texas. It's uh, it's gonna be like in the high 50s, low 60s. So, for the new guys, our bristles are very lightly damp. My brush looks like that. As you can tell from the last video, there's not a lot of volume. And I've been sitting here scrubbing this thing for three minutes. So your ladder is going to look like this. You're going to keep scrubbing it. And you think, oh, that's a nice leather. Wrong. Because what you have is basically a paste. And it will dry out on you and it will start to flake off or just, you'll see it right up on your mustache area or chin and it looks cracked and dried and all that good junk. Didn't use enough water. So next time, keep dipping those bristles in there. So that, I mean, you can tell there's a difference. Not much volume, very little peaks. Doesn't want to spread very easy. Doesn't have a whole lot of glide or slickness as I'm moving it on my hand. It's dragging, it feels heavy, too dry. You don't load it up very well. Your puck just kind of looks pasty. You see all that? It's not very pleasant. I mean, you can still shave with that, no problem. But it's not going to be the best that you can get. And your shaves are probably suffering. You'll have irritation or wonder why you got razor burn or, you know, who knows. So, um,. Another key feature or thing to look out for is when you go to make that first pass, if your lather's too dry, you think you got a nice, nice lather, even with a feather, a feather blade, um, you start to make that first pass down your uh, jawline here or whatever, and the razor feels like it's just dragging or like you're trying to pull it through mud. Too dry. And this is... You can already see it's okay. I'm not going to drag you guys through this, but if you look right there, it's dry. I mean, it's it's not very pleasant over here. It's starting to dry out really fast, and there's there's no lightness to it. There's no fluffiness to it. There's no it's slick. And, but it doesn't have a whole lot of just like creamy, fluffy goodness, like me. Well, I know, that was way too much. Nobody wanted to hear that. So it's starting to pull apart and crack on my thumb. All right. It's going to look similar 
the disc on your face. Um, I don't know if that's going to pick up very well. But that right there is a dry ladder. Stupid camera. It's starting to get dry. You see it on my thumb how it's starting to split apart and look dull. Dry leather. There's a key too. See how it all clumps up? Clumpy. Doesn't want to do nothing. Dry leather. Oh, and if you use a straight razor, you make your pass and you go to rinse your blade off and you have a little bit of soap right there on your edge that doesn't rinse off easily, dry leather. Use more water. And that too. See how it's right here, how it's starting to. But there is a difference. You can see that right there, it's really starting to dry. Might even flake off. So, yeah. Or you can see my hand right in there, how it's starting to look really dry and cracky. Pasty. It's a dry leather. So guess what? There's an easy solution to that. Go to the sink, add water. Which I'll do right now. Add a bunch of water. Get this moving around. Stir it up. So if you do notice when you're shaving that your lather seems to be really dry, your razor's dragging, or your straight razor's not rinsing off easily, your chevette, stop. You can wipe it off your face if you want. And go back, add water, and reapply. It's really simple. And it took me a long time to figure that out. I was too stubborn and too proud to think that I didn't have a bad lather. I had great lathers. No. And see, even this, that brush was loaded up so much with that paste. I've added a good amount of water and it's still not really lathering up very well. So dip your brush more. Get it really sopping wet. See, now it's starting to explode. Use those paint strokes, get it off the edge of the brush, work it. So yeah, I mean, you can overload your brush really dry and get all that real thick, heavy paste. Almost like you were, you took it and dipped it into room temperature butter. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to improve your shaves, add that water as you get that first bit spread on your face. Don't be afraid to go back to the water or your scuttle or bowl, sink flower pot, water, whatever it takes. Get that stuff built up. And you will see that your lathers are gonna get better. It's taking quite a bit because that's starting to really dry out on my hand. But you can tell the difference just in the brush, how it's starting to get fluffy, creamy. I hope everybody likes this video. I, don't, I didn't know really what to do or how to go about it. I really wanted to show what a dry lather looks like more than anything because I think that's the biggest problem with newcomers is that we're afraid to, to use water Afraid to waste soap. You know. Um, and, we, and, and there's not any really good videos out there showing what. I mean there's a lot of videos out there showing how to lather. But I haven't really seen any that shows what a dry cracked lather looks like. And um, you know 
I wanted to do what I can to help people show them what dry leather looks like. So that's come along nice. I mean, it's getting about to be where my last video was. Now, you know, some people like that little bit heavier paste, what I call a paste, feel on the face. Um, but I don't. I, I like it to have that cushion and glide, that slickness. I think it feels much better on the face. Anyways. So. If you don't like the video, let me know. I'll try to remake another one. I'll start out with the dry lather before I come on camera. And that way we're not sitting here for forever and you're getting bored and turn it off. So. But. Once you get those good ladders built, you'll start seeing that it starts peaking, pulling away. And that could price to use a bunch of water. But I'm not gonna sit here and bore the hell out of you guys. Me playing with my lather. So, yeah, I mean, look at that. That you would like to see. And I could probably still add some more water, but to show you. Just what came off of that brush. Look at that. You could go for like a week on that. I'm just kidding. But, anyway, that's a good ladder thick, cushiony. When you're at that point, you're pretty darn good. And then you can fine tune it from there. If you think, oh, it's a little too dry, add a few drops of water. And when I mean a few drops, I mean literally two to three drops. Some soaps are thirsty soaps. Some don't take a whole lot at all. Like my maggards, uh, limes and bergamot. It doesn't take a whole lot of water. If you have any questions, please comment. Get a hold of me on Facebook. Most of you already know who I am. If not, ask in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help. I mean, that's that's a ton of goodness right there. Look at that. I like it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. I hope that I'm somewhat entertaining and help someone out with a little bit of knowledge that I do have. And what I've learned. The worst thing to do is shave with a dry leather. I know, I did it for a couple months. So, I'll get these loaded up. Hope everyone has a great day. Enjoy the day. Make someone's day happy. Say hello to a stranger. Open the door for them. Just be kind in general. Life is way too short to be pissed off and angry at everything. So, have a good day. Have great shaves, and I'll see you later. Bye.